I'm convinced that Shakespeare wrote for film or television because in Macbeth alone, you've got one stage situation, but you have 27 different sets of locations. Uh -huh. And of course, they changed instantly without a curtain call. I really enjoy the research, especially on historical mm -hmm. projects. We were once going to do Antigone, which is, uh, of course, an ancient Greek play. And because of that and the research I did, I became sort of an authority on ancient Greece. Same thing with the uh, Gardener's Son, which is about a mill town. I read biographies of mill owners, uh, scholarly l lectures on the development of mill towns, even the religion in mill towns, just every bit of information I could find to find out how people lived and what mill towns were like so I could be able to produce not just the buildings and the walls and the flats, but mm -hmm. the entire feeling and the life of that period. I've worked many weeks of 100 hours or more, I'm sure, and once worked 45 hours nonstop, uh, myself and Dave, my crew, mm -hmm. just the two of us. You mentioned uh, Greenhouse <clears throat> for Willie the Digger. Now, that, that seems kind of strange. Who's Willie the Digger? Oh, that's W.O. Freeland, who does the garden spot at ETV. He's a very uh, eccentric and likable man. He calls himself Willie the Digger. I was not slurring him there. I like to try to make a set that the person would be comfortable in and also believable. And in preparation for the set, I visited his home mm -hmm. and his gardens and talked to him quite a bit and saw that the way things were arranged. And uh, he's very eccentric and his plants just run wild. Uh, he has them all throughout his house. There's lots of clutter because he collects just about anything, tin cans, hubcaps, anything to use to pot plants in. And so when I designed the house, the greenhouse for the set, uh, I tried to get that same feeling and clutter and disarray in it so he would be very much at home and comfortable in it. And he liked it very much. In fact, he began to contribute his own clutter after a while and just got into the mood uh, of it. While I especially enjoy working for ballet, I think ballet is one of the most beautiful things there is. But you need to leave a lot of room on stage. And you also have to make quick changes with huge sets of props in sometimes just 50, 10 or 15 minutes. And so the problems of making the sets not only look good, but also be very quickly changeable and leave enough room for the dancers. What advice would you give a young person that wanted to go into scenic design as a career? <laughs> it's really hard to say. Uh, I'd say learn quite a bit about periods and it's really a difficult question to answer because, like you see, it covers such a variety of things. You should learn how things are built, of course, and if possible, work with a designer. So you'd have some, Just some mechanical get as much practical skills. experience as you can. Mm -hmm. Work with uh, local theaters in the construction and design of their sets mm -hmm. and see how their designers work, sort of look over their shoulders. There are a lot of what I call cheap tricks, which make a set, make the difference, the details and the attention that really makes it work and they take very little time and energy or money to do it.